Yes, a couple of people ask how to take off slow because the helicopter just right after spooling up, it just gets up very, very fast. Uh, the thing is that you have to move the throttle stick very, very slowly. This is one helicopter that you will never get bored of flying, man. You will never get bored of flying. Even people say flying scale gets boring over time, but this is one helicopter. You just want to grab a cup of coffee, a drink, grab yourself a seat on the field, sit down and fly and enjoy this legend in the air. All right. But on ESC, I can hold forever. What a loving statement it is, man. Look at that. Look at that. So be patient. Be patient. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Greetings. Ali Shamal here. Come outdoors and the flight of Flyving FW450 V3 in Airwolf shell. And this time, as you notice, I have 3D printed some props and added some LED lights as well. These LED lights are available on RC Going. Check out the link in video description. And of course, for the helicopter, fuselage, and these sweet guns, other props, and even missile pod, missile pod that you will see after taking off are available. All the links in video description. So here we go. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. All the satellites are locked. Let's see how things are. Mashallah, the beauty man, you cannot beat the beauty of Airball. Now, you can also see, let me just go a little higher, so you can see the missile pods under the helicopter, right? <laughs> I just wish we had retracts on it, so that, you know, could retracts in and then it will be much more much more realistic these LED lights even on a bright day I mean it's not very sunny very bright sunny but it's still I would say Sun is out coming out after the rain and I can still see these LED lights And now Hey man, we have to do this by ourselves. <laughs> yeah. I just have to watch out for that board right there. Yes, absolutely. I can tell you with these guns and the tail fins, now it looks more authentic in the air, man. And of course, the missile pods I can see before it looks very childish, basic fuselage of Bell 222 helicopter only. But now it is an airwolf. Now, what I have to do next is probably add some red LEDs on the turbines, you know and some kind of 3d print some and design and 3d print some kind of flames that i can install and put leds inside that will really look nice man gps, GPS mode come backward break sweet man come forward break Absolutely looking superb now. Look at that. Guns focused on you. You better surrender now because it's a matter of a uh, second. The pilot is gonna push the switch and da 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 or maybe rocket. Well, right now, rocket will not work because there's a wheel in front of it. <laughs> it will just destroy itself. I have to do something about the retracts. Maybe, 
maybe I can design and 3D print retracts for this helicopter. I would be a nice second project for this helicopter. 3D design, design and 3D print retracts for this beautiful helicopter, which looks more realistic now with these 3D prints. All right, let me put it to auto flight mode. Hold on. And by the way, I'm running uh, V4 ESC. Before in summer, I used to get hot ESC. I have told you that very, very honestly. Now I'm running a V4 ESC. So I will see after I land, what would be the temperature? I didn't bring my thermal camera phone uh, FLIR phone but anyway by touching the v ESC I can easily figure out what is the temperature on the ESC now circle mode well I should probably record a new sound and say call it focus the guns mode <laughs> you know <laughs> focus on targets or targeting mode you know something like that yes I'm doing custom uh, sound packs for edge TX radios if you are interested you can always check the link in video description and download those sounds I did for edge TX radios custom sounds for GPS RC helicopter flight modes you can have them and you will have a lot of fun with your radio and flying the helicopter once you have those sounds Beautiful stance, man. Beautiful stance. This is one helicopter that you will never get bored of flying, man. You will never get bored of flying. Even people say flying scale gets boring over time. But this is one helicopter. You just want to grab a cup of coffee, a drink, grab yourself a seat on the field sit down and fly and enjoy this legend in the air all right let's land and see what the ESC is saying so yes a couple of people ask how to take off slow because the helicopter just right after spooling up it just gets up very very fast uh, the thing is that you have to move the throttle stick very very slowly so let's let's give it a try and see how it goes okay so I'm gonna put the throttle stick to center okay slightly lower than center and I'm gonna let it spool up all the way power it up all the way and you will see that it will power up and then slow down a bit see you can notice it now that it's spooled up, you will move the throttle slowly, gradually. Look at that. Now it gets up slightly slower than the, you know, previous one. So if you uh, put the stick up more, then of course swatch plate will get up more in the sky. Not the sky. Uh, <laughs> swatch, swatch plate will move more up and <laughs> in this guy swash plate will move more faster uh, what happened with my english swash plate will move faster upward and helicopter will get up like in a jerky manner so if you want to take off slowly land slowly control your throttle let it land slowly and similarly take off slowly look at that look at that so be patient be patient don't be in a hurry patiently you can actually take off slowly very very scaled all right let's talk to ESC now
Okay, as you can see, the V4 ESC is right here. Aw, it's warm. I mean, really, it's warm slightly towards the hot side, but not that we will call the overheat. It's like normal temperature. Remember the before, the 60 amp ESC was running 100A MOSFETs, but now Flyving is running 300A MOSFETs inside, so it's really not hot. It's normal temperature, but motor, yes, motor is hot. So one, two, three, four, four or five seconds. One, two, three, four, five seconds. I can hold on to the motor, but on ESC, I can hold forever. What a loving statement it is, man. <laughs> so V4 ESC really has developed. Uh, I mean, improved a lot. And I hope Flywing can also do something for the motor as well. So people, thank you very much for watching this video now. What we have learned from this video is the helicopter is more realistic in the air with these 3D printed props. With V4 ESC, it's not heating up the ESC, so there's no chance the ESC will actually burn or get damaged. With my RadioMaster TX16S Mark II Max Edition, the new setup is working really nice. I can fly all flight modes, including 3D, 6G, ATT, GPS, and RTH. And we have the LED lights, which are also available. Uh, links are in video description. And finally, yes, I gotta do something about the landing gear. I believe I have to design and 3D print the retracts for this baby. So I gotta work on it. Let me get free from the current videos that I'm doing. And after that, I'm so on it. And let me finish my electric paramotor trike project. After that, I'm so on it and designing and 3D printing the retracts for this helicopter, making it look more realistic. Have fun, people. If you have any comments, any questions, please feel free to comment on this video. And remember, all these things, the props, the LED lights, the helicopter, the uh, shell, the V4 ESC, the uh, TX16S, all the links, useful links are in video description. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that i post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button